So you're getting very emotional. Because okay? this is serious. Yes, of course it's I'm serious. I'm a white privileged male. I stop Why it. do you have to carry Rape a is gun illegal. to kill a male f***ing rapist when that male could just not rape in the first place? I know. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Wouldn't it, it would be f***ing great? Yeah. Do you know why? Women Wouldn't it be great so... if men didn't rape? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you arguing with? It's the latest installment of Change My Mind. This time, male privilege is a myth. This is going to be fun. Hey, really quickly, uh, want to hear from you. Which subjects would you like to see most going forward with Change My Mind? We've done pro-gun, pro-life, male privilege is a myth, there are two genders. Comment below and uh, we'll be doing them in the future. We'll get to the unedited segment interview in a second. But one thing that I want to note is that with these Change My Mind segments, we can go hours without a single person sitting down, willing to have a conversation. That's the part you don't see. We'll sit down, set up, and sometimes it's 30 minutes, 45, sometimes it's several hours, and as soon as one person sits, angry leftists surround and feel safe yelling from the mob. All of a sudden, I can't get to everyone fast enough. Got it. Great, so if you had proof, the statistics of, uh, according to the FBI, Wait, someone just booed, right? We noted a boo. <laughs> we noted a boo, and we would like to extend an invitation. Should I, you like to? I'm really okay. Beg your pardon? Well, we, we, you can sit down. You can sit down afterwards, and we'll do it. I appreciate. It. Yeah, you can wait your turn. Uh, what was that? Continue my bullshit. Oh, there you go. That's always a sign of an intellectual titan. Um, but you'll 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 get a chance at that, sir. Now we'll come back to this gentleman in a minute. He's actually the subject of today's uh, long form unedited interview. I won't bore you with many conversations because there wasn't all that much productive to glean from it. If you look even at our SMU interviews, uh, the one aggressive feminist kind of took over, was confrontational, but all of the others were really productive. Every other change my mind we've ever done has been pretty productive. But I noticed when discussing the idea of male privilege, or any privilege for that matter on campus, not only was pretty much everyone hostile off the bat, but not a single person provided any substantive argument. Every single point without fail was anecdotal. Uh, what rights are afforded in 2018 to men exclusively that aren't afforded to women? Um, I feel your male privi privilege is a myth. I feel like because okay. this is serious. Yes, of course it's I'm serious. I'm a white privileged male. Of course I chose it, of course, but I mean, the reason why I chose it then like shapes other opinions. Give My me, friend give me names. raped within the first two weeks of coming to the school as a freshman. This also might be why, despite having a permit, the gender studies professors who, along with their students, teach the injustice of police brutality inherently within the system, called the police on us simply for disagreeing. Quick, bring in the patriarchy. So we weren't really able to finish our conversations in the first place, and at this point, when everything was anecdotal, I, I kind of just have to pick one. Enter this guy, the person you saw before, who was yelling and cussing at me beforehand, who also stayed to yell and cuss at students afterward. Like, I've <laughs> never heard you of don't see it. Okay. No, I don't You're not a white girl, bro. You're not a girl. Well, hey! Girl. Raise your hand if you know someone who's been raped on this campus. Yes. Raise your hand if you think rape is a horrible thing. Oh. <laughs> Watch and uh, make your own decisions. No, come up and debunk my bullshit. All right, your bullshit. <laughs> it's always a great way to start a civil conversation. Mm -hmm. What's your name, sir? Gregory. Gregory. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So why the anger so, and profanity? That was such a that was such a profanity. that was such a no, civil yeah, conversation. No, let me answer your question. So anger and profanity, because this is an extremely sensitive sensitive topic, and I think it's almost ironic you come like to such a university that has such a problem with with white with male privilege. And I know you guys, the last conversation was a lot about uh, racial things, and you wanted to talk about laws, but I want to talk about really about the pra practicality. So practically, you know, I I don't I don't have a car here, so sometimes I I like to go down, like uh, go to yoga when I walk back. It's at night, I have my headphones on, I have like a hoodie on, so I don't, I'm not aware of my surroundings. And I feel perfectly comfortable doing that. I, I didn't, I wasn't really conscientious of that my entire life until about a year ago, I was on the phone with my friend. And she said that she needed to get her textbook from her car and it was like probably 11.30 at night. And she just wouldn't do it because she didn't feel comfortable. She didn't feel safe. Sure. And 
So that's something that's inherent as a male, biologically larger, and just like women, that's that's an inherent privilege. Inherent privilege inherent as a male. Privilege where a I can biological do that. privilege. Biologically, man. you're going to be larger, taller, and you can overpower a woman, and uh, for the most part. Um, so you believe? So you're saying that male, female is biological. First off, that's a premise. I'm saying there's both that. biological and and societal, and there's also systemic. Um, systemic's going to be where it's just ingrained in a society. Okay. So, so, for so could instance, you, for example, explain to me what the difference would be between a biological male versus a systemic male, to use your words? I did not say there's a difference between a biological male and a systemic male. I'm talking about systemic male privilege and biological okay, male Okay, well, you said, you, you said I'm a bio, male, biologically men are bigger and stronger, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so you're, I just want to make sure we yeah. agree on the okay, premise so let me, that... let me clarify for you. You're, biologically, you're, males have privilege because they are larger. Because of that, they have a certain safety afforded to them where they can go out and then they don't have to worry about, you talked, you had a horrible, horrible comparison earlier about how males are more vulnerable to being like, to being um, like burglarized or, or whatever your thing was. No, no, I, I didn't, that wasn't what I said. Okay, what did you say? They're, they're more I likely to be like, experience violence than, yeah, than okay. women are. Can I answer? Well, no, 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 not by the opposite I, gender though. Can I, can I answer? Go ahead. Yeah, no, they're statistically more likely to be victims of violent crime across the board. By which gender? No, you just said, do you mean gender, biologically, or systemically? What, what the f*** is this systemic well, you just gender? Said, you just said there what were differences between bio, biological, societal, said. and systemic. I want to make sure we're talking about Systemic male yeah, privilege, because you're forgetting the privilege. I'm forgetting the systemic privilege. You just said, let's, what's the let's difference assume between a biological gender and systemic gender? Okay, There's well, no okay, domestic. There's no such thing as a systemic gender. Differences okay, you, okay, hold between on a second. biological gender, privilege. Don't forget the privilege, it's very important. Yeah, it's very important to remember the privilege. Yeah, um, okay. Violent crime, many of them would be committed by men at large. Domestic violence is very comparable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying yeah, you're, domestic you're, violence you're, would be committed on the same rate from wi biological women men, to men I'm as make, men I'm to make women. The presumption that men who are who are more like vulnerable to violence is by other men. Statistically, having more being the victim of violent crime, yes. Statistically, by, also being agree, the victim of domestic would you agree abuse. That those victims, those male victims, are mostly being victimized by other men. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah. Sure. You think that's unlikely? No, I didn't say it's unlikely. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay. Well, let's, yeah. I think I think we can all agree on on that. And then so so for women, they don't have that biologically. We're still on the biological part. Is right. When they're when they're smaller, when they can be overpowered more easily, they they can't. They don't have the same privilege. When they can't go running by themselves. Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just let me. Hold on a second. Because you've never let I'm me finish about my the one sentence. You came in cussing at me, so I'm going to finish my sentence. And if you want to listen, that'd be great. If you don't, you don't have to. What I'm talking about here is privilege. I do not see it as a privilege having a violent crime committed against you at a multiple rate likelihood. Other males. Whether it is committed by a male, but the man who is getting gender violently differences. assaulted, I do not believe is more privileged than the woman who isn't. And statistically, that's the likelihood. It's I not a privilege. I believe it is because biologically, that male who's being assaulted by another male has a better chance of defending themselves than a female who is being assaulted by a male. And that's the gender difference. We want to talk about male privilege. Sure. We have to talk about the influence on the opposite gender. Don't, I don't, I don't give a f about your, when you're when talking about like male on male crime. Really? I do. This is not what this is about. If it you is. want to talk about that, sure talk, about, talk about crime. Let's talk about crime. We were talking about male privilege. Yes. And I'm bringing up the biological inherent differences between the genders. I agree on that. I agree that biology Women determines sex and gender. Yeah. are less likely and less capable of defending themselves against the opposite gender. Sure. Biological I No, listen, I, I agree. That's why I'm a huge supporter of women concealing and carrying. Okay, that's a completely different subject. No, it's not. So, no, it's it, not. It's okay. not at all. Yeah, I'm saying it's a different subject because being, being women, I, I don't want, women you know, the point is you're trying to set the premise as though for some reason I'm women are less likely. Not, can okay, I, can I, say, I respond? Can I respond? Things, two seconds. This is not about male on male's crime and this is not about access to firearms right now. I want to talk about the practical different, the practical livelihood uh, or existence of white. We want to talk about privilege. systemic privilege. We want to talk okay, about so systemic privilege and then, and then no, hold on a second. You said two seconds. That was about 18. Okay. Go I'm on. going to speak okay, now and I'm not going you. to cuss at you. Fantastic. So the point is, uh, we are talking about systemic privilege. No one at any point, I am still open to it. Anyone can sit down, has given me any example of a right afforded to a man, not afforded to a woman. That's what we're really talking about mm. with systemic privilege. Okay. Now we've just acknowledged both of us that men are statistically much more likely to be the victim of a violent crime. We're statistically men. much more likely to Other die men. at the workplace. Okay. Now, 
this is something that matters to me and perhaps not to you, and then that's okay, we can disagree. I don't believe that the man who is 70, 80% more likely to have a violent crime committed against him is privileged, whether it's committed by another man or not. Now, I would agree, maybe we could find common ground in here, what I'm talking about is I don't want to see women victimized. As a matter of fact, most Absolutely. men don't. And the only way a woman would be able to defend herself against a violent crime, though statistically far less likely than that of it occurring with a man, would be a mechanical advantage in a firearm. Would you not agree? Yeah, sure. It, it's so, sure. Yeah, but this is not about guns. No, it is. No, it's about no, protecting women, about and, and not, it's a, it's about keeping women from being victimized. Okay, cool. That's that's just, that's. But men have also. But you want to talk about male privilege? So we're talking about differences between the genders. You want to talk about firearms real quick? Let's end that conversation with this. Men that's and women an do not have a different accessibility to firearms. No, they don't. Exactly. Exactly. So what, what, that's a great thing. To do, this has nothing well, to do with has gender privileges. Th there you go. There's there's no privilege there as far as access to firearms. firearms. What I'm talking about is wanting to have fewer. Few, let me let me boil it down in a way that maybe might be reductive. I would like to read far more headlines. Okay, that say rapist shot dead in a ditch by a woman with a 38 special than woman raped on campus because of some concealed carry law. Okay. Well, okay. So I, would I don't like want to see female a lot victims. More headlines that have nothing to do with rapists. You know? I would exactly. You know why do? Why, but how do you stop why it? Why do you have to carry rape a is gun illegal. to kill a male f rapist when that male could just not rape in the first place? I know. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Wouldn't it, it would be, be fucking great? Yeah. Do you know why? Women wouldn't it be are great so... if men didn't rape? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you arguing with? You're Don Quixote fighting windmills, man. That, we all that, agree that, rape why, is bad. Yeah, you how, think how, I'm here saying how rape is they good? Get away with it. They don't get away don't with get it. Away with it? No. They get away with it on this motherfucking campus. <laughs> really? Yes, they fucking do. Okay. My give me, give my me, friend give me names. raped within the first two weeks of coming to the school as a freshman. She was a fucking virgin too. Milton Daniel Hall. You know what that motherfucker had to do? He had to move out of that hall. But he had to move out of that's that hall. That's about it. Really? Yeah. That's so this, it. so this was a rape. That's this how is they do with this it. Was a rape. So you're getting very emotional. Because okay? this is serious. <laughs> yes, of course it's I'm serious. I'm a white privileged male. I can go. In yeah. my, I can stay in my. My little bubble of TCU, I don't have to turn my back. I don't have to worry about my job, my, my income or anything like that. I don't have to worry about getting raped. Well, you should. My friends do. You should worry. You should worry about your no, income. You should worry about communicating no, no, with others. Well, let me finish my, let me finish my phrase. It is not something you that is should very worry about treat, You should worry about communicating with adults. You should worry about treating other people respectfully because this will affect your future employment opportunities. You first came in here and talked about how you put on your hoodie, your headphones, you don't even look around you in the periphery. That's dumb. That's stupid. You should worry about your safety. That's not, that's here, fundamentally here. unintelligent. White, black, yellow, red, I don't care. It's here. not smart to do. It's also not smart to come okay. in and say we should okay. get men to stop raping you know that's going to help women. You know my father, but th I'm not your father. Why. I'm not here. your father, but you not, come in here so you're going to school not. somebody and cuss and yell and say you need to no, stop no, no, rapists. No, no. I, no, Everyone here wants to stop rapists. Everyone here wants to stop rapists, okay? The point is, this kind of double speak and this kind of rhetoric and this ki these kinds of false platitudes don't help women. Do you know what you're doing? You're victimizing actual victims of rape. There is no one in five rape statistic. When you say men get away with it, we allow men to get off scot-free with rape. Yeah. It's not true. Yeah, it and you absolve people yeah, of personal is. responsibility. It leads to them. a worse society. It leads to them. a polarized campus. It leads to, God forbid, actual rape cultures like we see across the Islamic rape world. Culture in this campus. Is there? Yep. Okay, and then what is the rape culture? This is the rape culture on TCU is is brewed up by first of all twice having twice as many women. Having twice as many, it creates a different social dynamic. Greek life. So how do you let, change let me, it? Let me continue let me continue that first example. My friend who was raped within their first two weeks it's of terrible. college here having lost her virginity to rape. It's terrible. The the the, the criminal who was on charge was Does he have a, a name? pledge. I'm not. I'm not going to release. This will go out to a lot of people. The girl did I would not love want to see him charged. The girl, this is not my. I was. I wasn't. This is not my decision. She did not want to release his name. She did. She just didn't want this to be a public thing. Okay. Don't judge her for that. So don't roll your f***ing head. No. Okay. No. 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 Okay, I am so making. Me, I am judging. Okay. Well, not her. I'm making. A, I'm judging okay. the decision. You're judging her victim. So it's, no. I'm it's judging not, the decision. That's business. a bad decision okay. because you know what? That guy could go forward and rape and another woman. So the stupid false victim status. I don't want that guy to go out and rape somebody else. Blame the school else. then, because she Blame the school, school because a she guy raped her. And she didn't give the name. She didn't want to put the name out publicly because she did not want to be. How do we stop a rapist if we can't charge him or get a name? Here, let me. Let me How talk. do we stop a rapist? I'm going to answer your question. Okay. Let me. Let me. How do we stop that rapist from raping again? She made this decision. Having stopping a rapist would be to put him in jail. Yes. To have the punishment for rape to Ab be so significant, 
not just taking away a swimming scholarship and attendance at Stanford for that for that rapist, but at this school, she did not want to put out the name and make it a public thing because she did not want to be associated with Dr. directly. This is a small school. She puts out his name, her name gets out there. She doesn't want that. She doesn't want to be known as a victim. Let me finish. The school, no. She did. She did. She did want to prevent other, that that same person or his affiliates from raping again. Okay. So she told the school. Okay. So the school, the school and police have his name. And there was a correct. He was and he was charged. And he was no no, he was moved out of because she because he lived in the same hall as her, Milton Daniel. He had to move out of the hall. Both freshmen see each other for the rest of the. Four so the years. police were given a name of a man who forcibly raped a woman, and you're telling me they just removed him from the hall. This is the this story. Is, when it comes to criminal, when it comes to conviction, are there other things that are needed? Proof. Yes. Uh, exceptional things, and and in the state. That's of, a big one. Will we not agree on that? Yeah, obviously. Proof is important. Obviously. Okay. And so, when it comes to the the practicalness of this event, it is. Uh, let me talk because we talked about the culture. So I'm talking. I I'm going back to the example because those they were Greek. They were pledges, the rapists. Okay. And you want to know what his brothers did when they found out about this? I'm guessing something bad. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah. Um, they did not go up to her and apologize and say, you know, he's a bad egg. So and so. Greek fraternity into no. Greek words um, does not back this. We do not represent this. No, they they harassed her. They said, "Do not ruin this kid's life for one dumb mistake." He was intoxicated. He was this. He wasn't thinking straight. Sure. He thought you were cute. Okay, that's what they did, and that's why it's the stomach. I was a part of a fraternity here. I left because two members were put on our version of our, of our internal Supreme Court. They were given chance after chance after chance. They were put. They were in. They were in. Positions of power within the TCU community, to where they were subject to um, incoming freshmen, they were subject to other girls, and they they used that power in ways where they ended up harassing these girls, sexually assaulting these girls. That's and terrible. Within their fraternity, they were given chance after chance after chance until they just became maybe inactive. Can I? Or they just did not. They were not big enough. They were not a part of a, the fraternity enough to be. To where they would shed badness in the can, light, and that's why I left. Can I ask a question? Correct. Okay, yeah, because you went, you kind of, I think we'd both acknowledge you jumped from a few topics there, so I'd like to kind of mm -hmm. donate in a couple, well, and then hopefully we can move forward. Um, so you mentioned that this man uh, raped her, uh, the school knew about it, the police knew about it, he was simply moved to another uh, house, to okay. simply moved to another dorm. Then you said that the Greek house knew about it and basically was encouraging and they harassed her, mm -hmm. right? Okay, do you have any proof? Uh, I went to the um, and, and that's that's probably one of the reasons why it wasn't like there was no there was no GoPros everywhere you know there was that's that's how it happens that's how it happened there isn't we just said proof was really important so any, any yeah. proof of you just you just gave this whole example to paint a picture of white male privilege on campus mm -hmm. and this rape culture mm -hmm. any proof and proof proof I believe her and okay and there was. You know, she lost to Virginia. There was, there was, there were stains. You know, there, there was blood. Um, I'm sure if she wanted to call the FBI, made it, make a big deal out of have her name and face painted everywhere. I'm sure. Okay. Yet there isn't the existence <clears throat> of DNA proof. Okay. So here's my point. We'd have to, we have to find some common ground and agree on some premises here. So, no proof there that you would be able mm -hmm. to present that anyone has presented. You, you may be going in the but, direction of assuming that she wasn't raped, and I would strongly advise you don't f do that. Well, I, I don't. I, I'll take it under advisement. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I do have proof. <laughs> Proof that there is not a rape culture on campus. You have proof there's no. Yeah, rape the statistic culture. is not a one in five rape. According to the FBI, it's one in over 1,800. Okay. There is not a rape culture on campus in the United States. These rapes do not occur without consequence mm -hmm. when there is proof presented. Mm -hmm. The constant is not men getting away with rape. I'm certainly not convinced of that. I'm not convinced by your account. It sounds like a harrowing account. I feel horrible that that had occurred. So you think you think I feel good about that? I don't. But my feel point good. is, I say don't give a. F I'm Real, saying well, then here, listen, you can ascribe motive all you want, but I do have controversial to get some laughs from some people to put other people down. Who, 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 came, who came in and insulted doing, somebody? Who came in here and insulted out. someone? The only person who's insulted anyone all day here, all day is you. Okay. You came in cussing and yelling and swearing. I feel, no, because I'm pissed. I, I get it. serious. I get when it. you say this there's no rape culture and you have a proof of that you say you don't have the statistics. I do have proof and there is no Wait, rape if culture. Are, if you're a girl you don't want to go out you don't want to put out say hey I was raped you don't want to do that. You don't want to be raped if you're a girl. 
Obviously, we were talking about the statistics. No, but you said you, you don't want to. You don't want to go for one in five percent. Yeah, exactly. there is no five. rape culture in the United States campus. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't agree. And the statistics don't reflect that. So if you had proof. Which statistics are you reading? The statistics of, uh, according to the FBI. Incorrect. This is the biggest research mm -hmm. in Columbia University statistics. I would love for you to come and sit down when you have the microphone, and I would love to talk about that with you. Now, you see, this is why. This is not me being rude. Same thing, I gave so uh, Chantel, 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 Chanel? Sorry, 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 Chanel, I apologize. See, she's not going to give me guff for it. She sees it was an easy mistake. I wanted her to have her opportunity to speak. I don't necessarily agree with her, but I would say it was very respectful. You were cussing, okay. yelling, coming okay, in, a little, a little bit emotional, yeah. and I want you to have your opportunity to speak as well. And so it's disrespectful for her to yell out. We're having no, a conversation between two people. I disagree. People. This is not about semantics. It's not about being like, we're not in a parliamentary system it's where a, you're not allowed to interrupt and shit like that. This is important. You're actually allowed I to interrupt in a parliamentary system. You're talking to someone who comes oh from Canada. Gosh, we have a parliamentary shut system. Oh. Shut the fuck up with facts. Shut the Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Oh. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Hey, did you enjoy this video? Here's the thing, you're, over, you're here, this is the end of the, so we don't care because you already watched it, but if you really didn't like it and you want to justify it, leave a comment below telling us why you didn't like the video. And if you liked us, let us know and uh, subscribe to the channel because that lets the overlords at YouTube know that, uh, you know what? You're all right.